Now let's go with the cruiserweight contest over six rounds. And officials for this bout, we have John Coffey, T.A. Brown, and David Nete as the three judges. Now introducing the box of fighting from the book corner, and this evening wearing a smock, as if it's from the northern region, with white trunks, blue gloves, and black shoes to match. With the official record of two fights, no defeat, no draw, two wins. With a weight of 196.00 pounds from the Wisdom Boxing Gymnasium. And that the tutelage of the head coach of the Black Bombers of Ghana, Dr. Ofori Asari. Presenting to you the boxer, very, very tall, Haruna Mohammed. Crossing over to the red corner. And this is another interesting boxer with the official record of one fight, no defeat, no draw, one win. And today, sworn in the gold and black trunks, black shoe, red gloves to match. With the weight of 188.00 pounds under the tutelage of one of the finest heavyweight boxers Ghana has ever produced, a former military officer, he is currently the CEO of Charles Cote Boxing Foundation, Charles Cote, presenting to you the boxer, George Akoto. And the man in charge of this fight is David Nete. You know that he's already put it yourself at the And so, referee David Nete about to set things rolling for this uh, cruiserweight encounter between George Akoto of the Charles Courtney Boston Gymnasium against Haruna Mohammed of the Round Academy. One. And we are on. George fighting out of the red corner in Haruna in white trunks fighting out of the blue corner. They exchanged a lot of banter during the weigh-in yesterday and uh, we expect nothing but fireworks tonight. Uh, George has seen the, the more gentle of the two but looks like he is the aggressor of the two tonight. Uh, pushing forward and landing uh, a couple of punches uh, to the face of his opponent. Uh, George Dakota of the chance, caught the Boston gym. In the yellow and black trunks, uh, misses uh, an overhead uh, right, uh, looking very, very dangerous, and he takes one to the face. Uh, Haruna Mohammed uh, promised uh, around four knockout, uh, and we're yet to see whether he'll be able to go through with that promise. Uh, what a fight we have on our hands here, NY. Yeah, we have a fight on our hands here. And as you said earlier on, uh, Haruna Thunder Mohammed said that he's going to knock his opponent out in round four. But George Akoto also replied to him that boxing is not just talk. I'm going to leave all the business in the ring. And as they started sizing up each other very well, at this point, this is early. So what you need to do in the early rounds when you're fighting with your opponent is to download and make sure you can adjust to your opponent uh, style and then you can see George Akoto starting to turn up the heat onto Haruna Mohammed. Haruna Mohammed going for the clinch game he's smiling but George Akoto looks but, very very serious but Derek um, one thing that I'm a bit surprised about during the way in it was Haruna who was talking tough and predicting the knockout but on fight night George is one of the aggressors. What do you see? <laughs> Let me just reiterate that they say talk is cheap. <laughs> now do the work. Yeah. You can't just talk and, and go home and sleep. I, I, I think that uh, what Mohammed is not doing right is that I thought he would be the aggressor, especially in the first one, so that what he said outside the ring will manifest.
but he is rather on the defensive, and he has given Akoto the chance to dictate the, the, the pace. Fortunately for Akoto, he has the fans behind him, and if uh, Mohamed does not take care, Akoto plus the fans will, 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 do, will do a damage. And why? Yeah, George Akoto is here to prove us all wrong. He is giving Haruna Mohammed. And it is scheduled for six rounds. We are heading into the second round of this bout. George Akoto, Charles Corte Boxing Gymnasium. Haruna Mohammed, fighting from the Wisdom Gym. Well, Nana, one thing that we have not taken cognizance of is the fact that there are these boxers are coming from two very good gyms. Uh, 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 we have the Chasquate Boxing uh, uh, Gym, and then wisdom. we have the Wisdom yeah. the Boxing Gym uh, as well. And these are finest gym. These are the the best gyms, and uh, uh, and, and they, are, they, they have the best coaches behind them. I mean, you have Dr. Tassari and then uh, Chasquate himself. So yeah, there's a lot that is the best inside there. And so there we go. Haruna Tanda Mohammed has started. With an offensive nature. And as I said earlier on, Nana Sam Gold, I told you that maybe Haruna Mohammed have a game plan. And in the second round, he has started. And Tell why, him the heat. And why? It is like a thunderbolt. Those are punches from Haruna Mohammed. And hey, George has a rude awakening, but in all that, he has taken those punches very well. And he seems set. To land his own, it looks like these two fighters they are ready to give it their all in this four square circle. This fight is very, very fiercely contested, and I believe that it is possible one might go down. It's very possible that we are going to have some knockdowns in this fight. Fight goes on around number two, who's out with a counter and a huge overhead to the jaw of. Haruna Mohammed uh, is still standing by, he's a bit wobbled uh, and he's uh, throwing uh, referee separate them. Uh, referee David Nettie. Why did he go in there and uh, the fight still goes on both bosses uh, throwing a heavy ladder? My oh my. Who's our way to encounter? It is Wisdom Team uh, against Charles Quarty. George Akuto. The man we know as King George against Haruna, the Thunder Muhammad. Will the King be able to surmount the Thunder or will the Thunder strike the King? We are here at the Book on Boxing Arena. It is the Ghana Professional Boxing League. Exciting, thrilling, and thrilling, exhilarating stuff right here. My oh my. Yeah, and that's some gold, and this is what the fans uh, love. Uh, cruiserweight uh, a division, uh, the punches are very, very hefty. So you can see that the volume of punches is really taking a toll of uh, both fighters. And look, Haruna Mohammed is and, complaining and, of and, something. And, 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 and what was Haruna doing there? In the middle of the fight, he stopped to think now he's about to come down. Round number three coming up in this... Uh, Holy encounter, holy contested encounter. A lot of bragging, a lot of banter, a lot of exchange of words in the lead up to this fight. Haruna Mohammed, George the King Akoto, came into the ring clothed in the full kingly royal regalia and a huge rider. To the jaw of Aruna, he takes it well and comes back swinging, and they go into a tussle. <laughs> it's getting heated up, Nana Sam Gold. I tell and you, and why? I this tell you, it's something that both boxers needs to be careful of because when it goes in that kind of tussle and hustle, a counter punch that you don't see coming can just get through. And as I've been saying, it's gonna be light out. If you don't take care, if it lands through your chin. And there's I'm talking about George Akoto lands that right hand on the face of Haruna. Haruna Mohammed took it well there. Fight regains. And Haruna 
Jota gets the midsection of Jordan Koto. Jod looks so poised, uh, sizing each other very well. Uh. Jod tries to land with a couple of jab, but look at them go with a give and take nature again. Uh, Haruna settling for the jab establishment. Uh. Jod Koto chasing on, uh. and let's see if Jod can get some points getting through. Uh. Jod Koto, Haruna Mohammed. Wild miss there from Jordan Koto. Wild miss there from Haruna Mohammed as well too. And the jab establishment from both boxers. Wild miss there from Jordan Koto. Haruna also trying to get into the pockets of Jordan, but he also missed there. Haruna gets in for the clinch game. Derek, Nana, I'm surprised the two boxers are not using their assets. You see, uh, 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 Taiwan Akoto is, is short, but I wanted to want to throw blows up. Uh, uh, Aruna is up. It's not as to be using his jab. He's not just throwing just anything. So we are not, they are not using their asset. Mm. I, I want to see Akoto going down there, destroying the roots of uh, 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 Aruna. Aruna. I also want to see Aruna with a jab, uh, ensuring that Akoto will not get to him. But that is not what, what, what we are seeing. It's like they, they want to bring in some strictness uh, some street fight like into the ring and mm. that is not boxing mm. they must take advantage of their asset and show what what they, they were taught in the in, 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 in a training i mean if you look at the two coaches they are just not comfortable look at the uh, not comfortable look at the Tafari. they are both not comfortable so the guys must come to the party mm. that is coming from derek the guys needs to come to the party and look at george akoto trying to force the heat on Haruna and Haruna steps in but uh, that was an illegal uh, punch there coming from Haruna last 10 seconds to go and the bell so it is round 4 of the cruiserweight contest schedule for 6 rounds and Manasam Gold are we going to see the knockdown that uh, Knockout that uh, Haruna promised his fans. Round number four, I tell you, NY, indeed, uh, Haruna did the talking, but as to whether he can, do, he can walk the talk is another question. I mean, uh, during uh, the way, during the interview um, I had with them, Haruna was uh, very, very vocal, mm. and he looked like uh, uh, Akuto was scared or something, yeah. but he has showed us really yeah. that he, he, he's doing all his talking in the ring. Mm. And Haruna almost goes down with a huge punch from Akoto. And Akoto, he is very calm outside the ring. But in the ring, he is a lion. He That's is a king. He is dominant. Exactly. He is ferocious and exactly. courageous. Haruna Mohammed, fierce, fierce fighter. Great work there. From both fighters, uh, Wisdom Jim uh, against the uh, Charles uh, Quarter Jim. Uh, Akoto in the yellow and black trunks, Haruna in the all white trunks. Uh, Arun, um, Akoto goes in again, uh, Haruna. Akoto missing without Paka, but Haruna, he comes back and they go into a clinch. But referee David Netty separates the two boxers. Uh, Akoto goes to the body and he comes back. Uh, Haruna on the attack now. They're going to a clinch once again. What is Ruffy doing? Fight continues. And why? We that have less good. than a minute to end the fourth round. Yeah. It, 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 it looks more like Haruna is the one who is going to be knocked out <laughs> than he doing the knocking out. <laughs> <laughs> yes, let's see. And look at George Akoto. He's very, very good with his de defensive movement, head movement. So, so clinical from George Akoto. Last 30 seconds to go. George Akoto, Haruna Mohammed. Let's see how he's going to fare up. And the heat nature of the fight is slowing down. 
And we are heading into the last 10 seconds of the bouter. And Georgia Koto Haruna. Haruna is stepping in to see if he can get something. But at this point, uh, it's too late. And Nanasam Gold, the round four. Last bout couldn't come for Haruna. The acting in the in the ring, whilst uh, um, Haruna has failed to deliver on his promise. So let's see how it goes in the fifth round. Let's see how it goes uh, for the fifth round uh, that is coming from Derek uh, as Haruna Mohammed failed uh, with his promise knocking out uh, Georgia Koto at a way in process. Round five of the cruiserweight contest scheduled for six rounds. Haruna Mohammed fighting from the Wisdom Gym in the White Transfer and George Akoto from the Charles Corte Boxing Gymnasium. The Chapa and the gold and black tracks to match. Good way to get into the pocket of Haruna George Akoto. The fight taking up center stage. George Akoto relying on the jab, probing and establishment. Uh, Haruna also coming in strong, swings but he misses. Referee steps in, uh, separating both boxes. Fight regains. Okay, I think that uh, Akoto is now fighting boxing. I mean, I see him, I see him doing boxing now. Initially, they came in to just uh, do some street fight. Now you see him jabbing. You see him very calm, cool, and collected. And it's ensuring that whatever uh, blow he throws get to the body of uh, uh, Mohammed. Aruna, Mohammed Aruna, what is also lacking is the fact. Is the fact that uh, he's, not, he's still not using the jabs. Although he's that tall, although he's, he has that long reach, he's not using the, the, the reach to its advantage. And you know, he gets close into the extent that whatever blows he threw, it, that does not have any effect on Akuto. And look, look, can you imagine the, the, the short one rather, <laughs> relatively shorter one rather, <laughs> goes into uh, 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 the tall one with a jab. So what is the top uh, 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 person, the one with the, with the longest feet? Yeah. Must be the one who uh, rather throw the jabs. But he's keeping the, 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 the blows to himself okay. too much. Yeah, that is coming from a Derek. Derek is also saying that uh, Haruna needs to capitalize on his long reach with a job establishment. And look at them go again. Uh, and there, a referee comes in and word of caution uh, to Haruna with those illegal tricks there. Job getting in stiff, stiff job from both fighters. And Haruna coming in strong, but uh, those punches are not really having a relative effect on, on uh, George Akoto. Last 10 seconds to go. George Akoto. Haruna Mohammed. And that is a right punch there. That glazes on the face of Akoto. And uh, the bell goes. If uh, Haruna could get uh, and grab his knockdown that he promised his fans but this is a sixth round and this is the last round of the cruiserweight contest George Akoto fighting from the Charles Scorte Boxing Gymnasium the boxer in the red clothes and Haruna Mohammed fighting from the Wisdom Gym boxer in the blue clothes and look at George Akoto goes again uh, job establishment uh, Probing his way through with a jab. But Aruna wants to land a, hay, a haymaker. Let's see if he can land there. The give and take from both boxers. Aruna stretches his hand. Uh, telling George that where do you want to go? Let's fight. George is also sticking to his game plan. Uh, making sure he gets his jab through. Great openings. Then he can land those haymakers. Haruna Mohammed, referee, goes to Haruna Mohammed's corner and tell Haruna Mohammed's corner to make sure 
they get the wraps and the tapes of Haruna's gloves intact so the fight can continue. Derek, at this point in time, is giving uh, the boxers uh, some ample time to have some breathing space so that they can continue some, with the fight. Some, some re respect. It looks like uh, when we're small boys, mm. if uh, your opponent is chasing the ball, you have to try. So that by the time they will bring the ball, you take it some rest. <laughs> I think that these boxers need to rest. And uh, <laughs> it was the best way for them to, to rest before the last uh, half of, of, of the last round. Mm. So the fighter regains uh, a posture. And it is George Akoto and Haruna Mohammed. Haruna tries to get into the inside game with uh, George Akoto. But uh, it didn't yield. Uh, both boxers trying to size up each other at the center of the ring. Uh, George Akoto tries to come in with a jab but Haruna also steps in with a flurry of punches Joya Koto goes to the midsection, goes upstairs again but couldn't land, wild well miss there from Haruna good head movement there from George Akoto he's moving really really good and he's making things difficult for Haruna Mohammed to find a target to land an effective punch and there goes the hustle and tussle again from both fighters as referee De as referee Ishmael Williams steps in to separate both boxers there goes George Akoto again trying to probe his way through with a jab Haruna steps in stronger but couldn't land punches clinch game Referee needs to step in to separate both boxers. And let's see. Who is it going to be? Last 10 seconds to go. George Akoto. Haruna. Mohammed. Good defense movement there from George Akoto. As Haruna chases on his opponent. Well, well okay, at this juncture, Akoto knows he's winning the, the, the fight. So now the verdict. Judge one scored about 60 to 54. Judge two scored about 58 to 55. Judge three scored about 59 to 55 by a unanimous point decision presented to you the boxer who is also known to be called the timer George Akoto great 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 the timer the timer the timer how are you I'm very fine uh, how do you feel when it is very important fight? How do I feel in this very important? Fight? How do you feel about this fight? I feel very great because my opponent wasn't that easy. He's a good boxer. Yeah. So, uh, what, what did you do to be able to win this this fight? What I did was not that simple. Because it's taller than you. How did you manage it? Yeah, because I've been with him in the same uh, uh, youth before. No, youth team. Yeah. Okay. So I know him very well. Okay. Yes. Very well. So uh, now that you've won this fight. What should we look forward to see in you? They should look for me, like, they should look the best. They should look forward to the best in me. Because I'm a new professional boxer and I've not yet 40 minutes. So I have, I've not gotten that experience okay. yet. So they should look for the best okay. in me. Fantastic. So your family members and friends are watching you live on Max TV. What message do you have for them? Oh. I'm very grateful for the support they have for me, especially my friends, my family, my, my fans. Yeah. My fans. Yeah. We are also supporting me. We are here. Now, we are Santiniana. We are going. Who are going? You're in two from Coco. And we are for a mucho. Cow Casano, Muncho, we are Pacham Casana, Mechanici, Shantichi. Send me the BBRC. So I support me. Since me and you box are about, and you are more expecting more of me because there are more to come. Yeah. Thank you very much. Can I put your hands together for Judge Akoto? Thank you very much.